Uh, hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of Surviving Your Anime Convention. This is just a remake of the first one because it, cause I made a lot of mistakes in that one, but this is just part 2, so here we go. Um, I'm just going to go over the same stuff I went over in part 1, which are tip number 1 is finding where your local con is, either through social media or Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever they post, or websites that will tell you what the big con that's closest to you or you have to travel you see you have to travel very far uh, tip number two is getting your badge and pre-regging because pre-regging is a lot better than waiting in line for hours on end and tip number three is picking up your badge on the day of the con which you'll definitely be in line still but be a shorter line than the then people actually aren't getting their badges on the actual day uh, tip number four would be after you made past the and getting your badge, um, you'll be I think you'll be in the dealer's room or slash artist. Is it an artist alley where you put uh, artist alley where people where artists do their own drawings and like painting and all that. As well as the dealer's room where there's, there's he will sell you merch like figures, gunpla, plushies, anime posters, wall scrolls, earrings, keychains, and lanyards. Pretty much yeah, um that's tip number four. Tip number five would be getting food. That can be hard because I've been to a lot of cons and their food's very expensive. So most people venture out outside the con to get food and then come back afterwards, which is a lot easier and cheaper. But you'll be back in normal society and you might get the looks uh, if you're cosplaying a character. Tip number six is taking pictures of cosplayers. Is ask before you do it because otherwise they might seem disrespectful. Tip number seven would be to. To shower or use deodorant, but deodorant isn't the way of shower. Isn't a shower? Definitely shower each day. You say before you go to the con, and that's it, guys. Hope these guys enjoyed this one. This is part number two of the Australian Anime Convention. And after you've done all that, you successfully enjoyed your Anime Convention. Uh, the last part is the post-con blues, which are basically post-con depression. The way to deal with that is talk to people online, talk to your friends about it, talk to the friends that you went to the con with, and see how they like it, and what did they enjoy about it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.